I can't believe that. I am so excited I could burst into tears. I know. That was amazing. <laughs> Rara, you're so good. Today we're at the UKI Canadian Open and it's actually a qualifier for the World um, Championships, the WA, that will be held in the Netherlands. Now, Kale's got uh, Funky and Rad competing in this uh, competition and there's people from all over Canada that have come to compete here. So uh, let's get inside and check out some of the action. It's going to be a great weekend. Most of my time at these events is spent uh, filming and supporting and helping out Kale as best I can. But I'll tell you, the worst part of this event is when I have to stand still, hold the iPad and watch Kale run because my heart is pounding, my hands are sweating. It's a much more challenging process than you might think. I, and and I, I really don't enjoy it until after the run and then I can sort of relax for a moment and it's great to get the good footage. But uh, for those like 30 seconds, 35 seconds, it is a nightmare. It has been so unseasonably hot these last couple of days. You know, it's like 28, 29 degrees Celsius. Really, really warm. But Kale and I are really lucky because uh, we have a trailer that's parked on site that we can sort of take the dogs to in between runs. And we have a break in the day and they can just hang out in the air conditioning where it's nice and cool. But, uh, you, you know, heat is going to be a consideration this weekend. real bonus for me is that because I'm not competing, I can take the odd nap during the day. Uh, I think we don't nap enough. Napping's an important part of my day, and uh, I think more people should set aside a couple of minutes to have a quick nap. The word for the day is fierce. Here I am with Instructor Mark, and you guys have seen Instructor Mark on uh, a few of the vlogs. What are we watching here, Mark? It seems really exciting. Yeah, so right now it's Speed Stakes Finals. So yesterday we did do a Speed Stakes and this is the Finals one. So everyone's getting to run it, but they're gonna run all out because the winner of this will win the overall Speed Stakes. Yeah, it's really, there's lots of cheering and everybody's sort of uh, all watching the same ring. It's a really, really exciting run to walk. pretty exciting. Kale's got uh, both Funky and Rad in these Speed Stakes finals. Rad's a pretty young dog, but he's done exceptionally well so far this weekend. A couple off courses, a couple little errors at the very beginning, but uh, she's, Kale seems to really be pulling it together with Rad now. How do you feel about uh, Speed Stakes finals? Uh, I feel good because I think it's a good course, but it's going to be hard not to like let the pressure get to me. Yeah. Both of the, do both of the dogs are sitting in first place going into the finals. That's exciting. I've been in that position with Funky many times. She's a little pro at this. Yeah. Uh, but never with Rad. Yeah. And <laughs> so. it makes it so much fun when you're running a young dog when uh, you know you you don't have the same expectations of them, so you can have a little bit more fun. But it's still it's it's got to be nerve wracking. Yeah. It's exciting though. Yeah. I'm ready. It was exciting to see Rad flying around in the 
speed stakes final. And you can see these guys going over the it's a little post run chat that they uh, they always have. But um, I think there's a bit of a break now and then. Are you in? Are you in gamblers? Like in gamblers? Yeah, sure am. Yeah. I want a rest and a shower <laughs> and a nice bath. Yeah. And a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Which will be coming up shortly, I'm sure. So we were over at the trailer, just getting the dogs ready, and someone ran over and said that Kale, they were calling Kale, so we have uh, we have to hurry back. I've got Rad, and Kale's got Funky riding the bike over. Hopefully she makes it in time. So we made it here just in time. Kale's got to run straight to the line. Let's see what happens. One. I can't wait to get down there and see those two. That was amazing. Dude. I can't believe that. I am so excited I could burst into tears. I know. That was amazing. Rara, you're so good. My goodness. That was such a good boy. Let's talk about that run for a moment. Let's. It was pretty exciting to watch. Uh, <laughs> what happened exactly? I really cannot tell you. It was a blur. I just planned, I thought I had my timing right, yeah. and I just basically went to the first jump of the final gamble, hoping and praying that it would buzz on the way, and it did. Yeah. And then I said a whole bunch of wrong commands because I was so excited, yeah. and uh, Rodley was just so good. He was. Yeah. Well, after a run like that, I guess the only thing that's left is to have a beer. Yes. Not for Rad, though. <laughs> Pretty great day. Lots of successes. And uh, we had a great barbecue at the end, which was lots of fun, and hang out with some of our great agility friends. Now, Kale and uh, all of the dogs basically have gone to bed, and all of the dogs are on our bed right now, which I might have to put them in their crates overnight. We'll see. But uh, it was a great day for Rad, great day for Funky. I mean, there was just uh, so many great moments and, and, and lots of great runs out there. So uh, I'm excited to see what tomorrow brings. Now, tomorrow is the fi you know, more finals, um, and we'll maybe hear the announcement of uh, the final placements for some of the, the finals that were run today. So I'm really excited for that. But if this is your first time with us, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help you do something awesome with your dog. And uh, on that note, I think I'm going to turn the light out, and we'll see you on Wednesday. Happy training. <laughs>